Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans and today I want to show you a simple but very powerful tutorial on how to combine your shots with a green screen background and then embed them into a virtual set. So let's dive in and take a look. Alright, so here we are in the TriCaster TC1 interface and normally in my videos you're seeing me on a virtual set, kind of like what's going on over here in my program window. But Today I want to show you how to do all of this from scratch. So you'll see that I'm just here in my office. I'm not really doing anything fancy. I have some green screen fabric behind me and then I have uh, two lights but on the left and the right of me here just to light myself and then I do have a light that's above me to light the green screen that's behind me so I can pull a good key off of it. But let's go back into the interface and kind of start to work around to see how we can combine all of these elements to make it, uh, myself appear in a virtual set. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to set up in my preview window mix effects number two so I can have them on top of each other, so to speak. All right, now, uh, now what I want to do is open up my mix effect number two to show you how to set up one of your mix effects as a virtual set. So by default, these mix effects are already set up where they're going to be a switcher, like a secondary switcher. So, I mean, if you look over to the right, you'll see that I even have my transition bar here so I can uh, move between shots and four upstream keyers. But what I want to do is turn that transition into a virtual set. So what we'll do is in this transition box, we'll click on the transition itself. And then uh, you'll see that I have my nine different presets for different uh, transitions to use. But I want to turn this into a virtual set, so let's go ahead and I'm going to click the plus button on number three. You can do it on any of these uh, presets, but I'm going to click on this plus button. And instead of a selecting a transition, let me scroll to the top of our media browser here to show you all the different virtual sets that are included on the TriCaster. Uh, now, if you're missing some virtual sets on your a particular unit, make sure you go and download the latest update for your software and be sure to click on the new tech content pack that comes with it so that you can get all of these delightful virtual sets. Okay? So I'm just gonna go through here and browse and I'm gonna go pick up a virtual set that you haven't seen me uh, do a demonstration in here before. Okay? So let's select Demo Studio and I'm going to select the center angle here. All right. And now, right now, this is just set up because of the uh, original uh, positioning and choices of my shots of what I have currently in that virtual set. So you'll see on this particular virtual set, I have two different options uh, for uh, putting elements into the virtual set here. So I can control what's in that screen on the left and what's going on behind that desk. So uh, let's go ahead and position or put whatever we want into these screens here. So let's say that I'm going to do like a talk show. Uh, I'm gonna select input number seven on my B row, which will be the screen. That's over here, so I can talk to this girl when she's playing her video games. And then let's go ahead and I'm going to put myself, my shot, into that uh, area where the dancer is right now on this A layer. So I'll select input number one. So now you can see I'm on this virtual set and I can, you know, turn over and talk to my guest on my show, but I still have this green screen that's behind me and part of my desk element. So let's go back in the interface and get rid of all that. So to do that, let's open up the settings for my particular input, input number one, by clicking on the gear icon in the bottom right of that input. And then you'll see that I have different options in here for me to make some adjustments. So the first thing that I want to do under the image tab is open up crop source because I have, you know, this desk lamp over here and one of my cameras. Let's just cut those off so that I don't even have to worry about those. So uh, I'll go ahead and put a checkbox next to crop source. And I have these options here for uh, manipulating where I want that crop to be so I can scoot it in a little bit and then you just start to cut pieces off. I don't want to be able to cut you know, my elbows off or my hands off or anything like that. So uh, that's looking pretty good. And you can also uh, adjust for the, the top and also the bottom of your shot as well if you need to. But this is looking pretty good. So let's move on to the next element, which is going to be turning on the green screen keyer. Uh, and that is referred to as live mat within the new tech TriCaster. So uh, from here, to select the color that you want to key out of your background, the easiest way to do that is to grab your mouse and hover over next to where it says color here. Right now it's selected as green, but you'll see that I have a little a selector tool that shows up when I get into this color box. And all you have to do is using your mouse, left click and hold, and then 
basically scroll around the screen until you find the color that you want to key out. So you'll notice if I go next to input one here, I can select this blue. So if I was on a blue screen, same thing. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but I'm going to go and drop this next to my face here and let go. Boom. And now this is keyed out. Now my input one source is going to be blacked out, whatever is, you know, uh, where the green is going to be. But when we go into our virtual environment, you'll see that that's been completely removed and it's just me here in this virtual set. Now, I'm going to go back into my mix effect number two, and let's go ahead and zoom into this shot using this positioner tool. So now I'm on a completely new virtual set and have full control over what elements I want to bring on or off screen during my broadcast. So as you can see, using our mix effects is a great way to combine your green screen footage with virtual sets and put you into any environment that you can think of. Now, if you like this demonstration but want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com slash demo to sign up for personalized demonstrations by yours truly. Also, be sure to follow us and tag us in your posts on Instagram. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page for more videos like this at youtube.com slash newtechinc. Until then, thank you for watching and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.